No question about it. I mean, this was always, well, for a time there last week, right? We were worried about uh, direct impacts here from a hurricane, but uh, the models had been trending west. And then, of course, in the last, what, three to five days, everything has been pushing east. And even this last advisory, latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center has the track uh, even closer to uh, Fort Myers. But uh, let's talk about our neck of the woods here and what the impacts that will be as we hit through one tonight. It's just always impressive to see this kind of you know, force just uh, so close to home here. There is the center of the hurricane and right around it is that ring of fire there. That is where the 120 mile an hour winds exist. But let's do some um, math here, if you will, or a little distance uh, charting here because the hurricane force winds extend out basically 40 miles, not the 120 mile an hour winds. Those are going to be located right in the inner ring there, but 74 mile an hour winds or higher extend basically up to where I have the arrow there. And so that is going to make a safe enough pass, I think, for Key West to be spared of hurricane conditions here. But we're looking at still, I think, strong tropical storm conditions as it makes that close pass as we hit through one tonight. And that's going to be coming in in two forms. It's going to come in certainly with banding that's going to produce, you know, 50, 60, even some 70 mile an hour wind gusts. But the sustained winds are not just associated with the bands. Those are going to be coming in with just this wind field that's going to be expanding and moving on top of the keys there over the next uh, several hours and into what uh, tonight. In fact, I think that will be the peak as far as the impacts here. The tropical storm force winds were already in them. These extend out 140 miles. And if you extrapolate that, well, we're looking already at the middle keys experiencing that and that will continue pushing up to the north. And so then all of us will be involved in tropical storm conditions. And that's why we have been upgraded now for tropical storm warning for everybody. If you're watching us, you're in that with the exception of dry tortuga because they have been under a hurricane warning uh, for the last uh, 24 hours. So uh, case in point here again, some of these bands that come through 50, 60 mile an hour winds, but then we'll get into the steady tropical storm sustained winds that are going to be, you know, 39 to I think basically 50 miles an hour. I think that's going to be the uh, a range for it tonight where you're going to have consistent winds like that. And then on top of that, you're going to have some gusts uh, that will be higher than that. So here's the latest track. This is a uh, brand new from the National Hurricane Center. Just a few minutes old here. 130 mile an hour winds that hasn't changed category four as we head into tomorrow. That has changed, uh, and that track has just continued pushing further to the south. And we no longer have this giant cone towards uh, the end because we are closer in time. The cone always has the same, you know, difference as far as uh, distance there. But because we're so close to the event now, the forecast errors are not as significant. So we're looking at a land falling major hurricane across the southwestern coast of Florida. It is still unknown where that is going to make landfall. That is very tricky depending on what it's doing uh, with the what we call the eyewall replacement cycle. When that happens, these hurricanes tend to wobble a little bit as uh, uh, we've come to know, right? And so when that happens, well, you can get a landfall a little bit further to the north and five to 10 miles makes a huge difference depending on where you are again if you have the bay uh, to your south that is going to be a problem here with the hurricane that goes to your north because that's going to pile the wind you don't want to be under it uh, basically is the way to go you want to be over it where the winds are going to be going in the opposite direction then we have a cat one hurricane i think by then you know 70 mile an hour wind gusts certainly through uh, central florida and then we're looking at just gusty winds and rainfall uh, for the rest of the peninsula this is what we have as far as tropical storm warnings again basically everything in blue won't be showing you this too much because we're all in it now and this is going to continue through tonight and into tomorrow. This is what will be changing. This uh, continues uh, in effect the tornado watch and we'll continue to follow those cells. Typically a lot of that a lot of the times these cells that do turn into uh, tornadic cells uh, that are short lived but still something we have to pay attention to come in the middle of the night. Uh, so we'll have coverage here throughout the entire night 40 flood watch continues as you can see these bands rolling in. Now we don't have the heavy steady bands that we've had. We have these pockets of showers and storms that roll through, but I think we will get into additional banding where we have those tropical downpours that can put down significant amounts of rain. And that's going to continue as we head to through the uh, overnight hours. As far as the wind gusts, again, this is the closest pass to Key West. There you see 67 mile an hour wind gust. These are gusts, 70 mile an hour wind gusts as it makes a pass to your west. And I think that would be the worst of the conditions. Watch the clock here. That's tonight and then through the overnight hours. And then this continues pulling away. Not that the winds won't be there, but we won't be as you know close to uh, hurricane force wind gusts there in the uh, Florida Keys. And then, of course, 
course, uh, there's the track that I just showed you. I'll leave you with the seven day forecast because we do have uh, alert days over the next uh, several days that will continue. 40, 70 mile an hour winds for the lower keys, four to eight inches uh, of rainfall, and then we have additional rainfall for Miami Dade and Broward as well. Now, here's the seven day forecast with alert days coming up for the next 48 hours, and then beginning to see that improvement Friday into the weekend. We'll be right back.